Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dania and today's topic focuses on the differences between in and into, like how to use in and into in sentences. Basically, I have actually been focusing on explaining a list of prepositions so far and I will link that in the description box for you to check if you have any questions. So for today, the focus will be on in and into, like in and into. So I will show you how to use in and into in sentences using examples with detailed explanations to help you understand the differences between these two prepositions quite well. So let's start. You need to use in to speak about locations or positions within something. But into, it talks about the movement, like it indicates movement toward something. So this is basically the difference between the two. Sounds confusing, right? Let's have a look at the following examples to understand the idea much better. The cat is sleeping in the basket in the basket. So with the use of in, we are focusing on the location of the cat. So where is the cat? The cat is in the basket. There is milk in the cup. In the cup. What does that mean? We are focusing on the milk. So where is the milk? It is in the cup. She will arrive in an hour. In an hour. What does that mean? We are basically focusing on the duration of the arriving time. So when will she arrive in an hour? They will arrive in June. They will arrive in. Why are we using in? Because of the month. When it comes to speaking about the month, we need to use in, like in June, in December, in March, in May, things like that. But before looking at the preposition into, I would like to ask if you have any questions or any confusions regarding the use of in. If yes, please let me know in the comments below. So just ask your questions and I will immediately like respond to your questions or I will create another video to focus on the preposition in. So for now, let's move to the second part, which is the preposition into. Let's have a look at the following examples. She walked into the room. So with the use of into, we are focusing on the movement, meaning that she was somewhere else. Maybe she was in the kitchen. She was maybe in the bathroom. She was in the living room, but now she in she is in the room she walked into the room so in this case you need to use into to speak about the movement the movement from one place to the other place he jumped into the pool jumped into meaning that he was basically on the platform right and then he decided to jump into the pool so it decided to move from the platform to the pool and that is why we are using into jumped into another example they drove into the city into the city so we are speaking about the movement probably they were maybe outside the city maybe they were in their hometown and then they decided to drive into the city so in this case we need to use into because we are speaking about the movement and this will be the last example they walked into the cave so with the use of into we are speaking about the movement the movement to the cave so that means they were outside the cave and decided to walk inside the cave but we don't say they walked inside they walked into because we are expressing the movement the walking 
array. So in here, we need to focus more on the action, the walking part. So yeah, this is how you can use in and into in sentences. All right. If you have any questions regarding what I have just explained, you're most welcome to let me know your questions on the comments below. As for the upcoming video, it will be on, on grammar as well. It will be on another type of preposition. However, if you have other topics that you want me to focus on, you're always welcome to let me know. And if you find this video useful, please give it some like, comments, and share it among your friends and classmates, as that actually help uh, the channel to grow. So yeah, thanks a lot for being here, for joining this English Grammar podcast. I will be looking forward to having you on the upcoming video as well. So have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.